we covered this story in real time, and now Netflix is shining a new light on it. The Vallejo Police Department is facing new criticism since the recent release of the Netflix docuseries about the kidnapping and sexual assault of Denise Huskins. This happened back in 2015. NBC's Jody Hernandez explains this series has prompted a backlash. Do you know where she is? Yeah, you did. The docu-series American Nightmare that chronicles the bizarre Vallejo kidnapping case of physical therapist Denise Huskins is topping the Netflix charts. The series uses footage of videotaped police interrogations to show how police initially tried to pin the crime on Huskins' boyfriend, Aaron Quinn, who was tied up and drugged by the kidnapper. And when Huskins was finally released, police then said it was all a hoax. And they were victimized by a psychopath and then victimized by the Vallejo Police Department. Quinn's former attorney, Daniel Russo, says the series exposes real problems with policing, especially at VPD, which has been riddled with scandal after scandal. They have to completely revamp that department so things like this don't happen because it's not a fluke. The true crime hit has led to some serious backlash on social media. The Vallejo Police Department's Facebook page is now filled with comments like, apologize to Denise, and this department is a joke. I started watching it and I just stopped. I couldn't. I figured out that I kind of had uh, VPD PTSD. Um, it started just making me really anxious. Former longtime Vallejo City Council member Stephanie Gomes says the criticism the show has generated is warranted. She says the department has been riddled by corruption for far too long and needs to be overhauled. If the badge bending story didn't do it and the shooting of um, people in our community didn't do it, maybe a Netflix um, story will do it. I can only hope. Meanwhile, Russo says he's proud of the couple for speaking out about their victimizer, Matthew Muller, and the trauma they also endured by police. But they're never getting over this. They're always going to have PTSD from what happened, the savage way they were treated. We reached out to the Vallejo Police Department, but we're told they have no comment. In Vallejo, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.